The city looks good on foot, but it's even better on water. For the 400 invited guests, it is celebrating a Chinese tradition with an Australian touch. If the views don't hold your interest all night, the rich array of Chinese culture will. People of all backgrounds learn the legend of the Moon Fairy Lady. Because they believe that、uh, there is a true love between、uh, ladies and、uh, guys, and the lady she is living in the moon in a palace,、uh, and really uh, this is uh, we appreciate such kind of、uh, festival. Although the harbour is choppy, the listeners gather in the cabin, basking in the warmth, enjoying Chinese food. And Western music. The breathtaking Moon Fairy Lady dance leaves guests feeling a harmonious cosmic vibe. I am very glad that I can be on this boat of Sound of Hope. I feel very privileged. I want to say Happy Moon Festival to everyone. The fans seem to have just one wish.、Uh, I hope she will be able to make it back to her moon home. <laughs> Through the cruise and its programming, Sound of Hope Radio aims to bridge the gap between East and West. With China being such a big economical power these days, a lot of people want to know who is China, you know, and what are they all about. So, what what we aim at doing is bringing that news out of China. And people are only too happy to hear about its independent Asia news coverage. It's a really positive outlet to have, and、um, it's good that they have the opportunity to. Express themselves without all of the control. This is Richard Zabo reporting for Asia Brief, Sydney.